Fall is full of fun flavors from sweet pumpkin puree to savory sage butter and butternut squash. And there's room to mix and match. Local restaurants are helping us taste our way through the season and Studio 5 food editor Chelsea Fairborn picked out five fall flavors and the best dishes to find them in. And we were just talking about, you feel like there's a flavor profile for fall. Yes, so we'll, we'll simplify it. And I think it's the perfect combination of sweet and savory. That your sweet dishes that you have in the fall also have a little spicy undertone or that savory to balance it out, especially in the desserts. And then on the savory side, like some of our favorite savory staples then have the sweet undertones to help balance it. And I love fall eating. So to have that kind of be, and I, I have a sweet tooth. So to, <laughs> to be able to sneak in my dessert also with a, with my main dish and entree, like I love those, those flavors and combinations. And we're talking like butternut squash, we're talking sage butter, um, we're talking pumpkin, and those can go sweet or savory, which yes. is really fun. I love them both. I Love yeah. both. Okay, so are these things, you found some different things for us, are they things that are, we're only gonna find right now or things that we can find throughout the year? It, it's a combination, um, but I'd say most of them, it, to find the best version of these, you're gonna wanna look for restaurants that have rotating menus or a seasonal menu. That means that they're, they've got an eye on what's in season and that's how they're building their dishes. And so you're going to get the best quality ingredients, you're going to get really unique flavor combinations and they're going to be dishes that are elevated to the season that you're eating in as opposed to something that's just kind of rolled in year year round. I agree wholeheartedly. Okay, we're gonna start off in Northern Utah with my favorite, maple. Yes, maple what is the flavor find? that we're starting with. So there's this great place called Ruby's Pizzeria and Grill, and they have a burger that's maple infused. Ooh. So what's great about this, again, I love a burger, and you can sneak in that, that maple flavoring, sometimes it's infused into the burger. In this case, it's infused into the barbecue sauce. So it's a bourbon and maple sauce that is paired with that patty, with all the fixings of a great traditional burger. And then they're also pairing it with a sweet potato fry, which gets kind of that double whammy fall flavor. And this is one that's, that's hearty. <laughs> You're gonna wanna buckle up and really <laughs> dive into this. It's not meant to be here, a nice clean bite. It's a, it's a messy, messy, fully experiential bite is what you're getting. Just your photos are yeah. mouth watering. Yeah, this I wanna dive one. in right now. Okay, Ruby's Pizza Arena Grill. Okay, and your next one is butternut squash, another one we love. Yes, butternut squash. So for this, we're going to cultivate Craft Kitchen, which is in Draper. And this restaurant is known for having that rotating seasonal menu that we talked about. So they have some staples, but as the season changes, they change their menu to match. So they have a butternut squash ravioli that's really great. It is a smaller portion. This restaurant is designed to have, uh, or their menu is designed to Look have very shareable plates. So we've got the butternut squash. There is a little bit of sage in there. This is one of their burgers um, that you can kind of taste and try while you're there at the same time. Um, they have great salads with beets and all, that flavor profile comes in across their entire menu. Um, this is another one of my favorites. It's not necessarily Screaming Fall, but I have to get it every time. It's their cauliflower. <laughs> Sounds weird, but trust me, it is to die for. And it's like a general show's cauliflower. Spicy, it's so spicy. good. Yeah. Okay, so and that, I have to go back to that ravioli. So that was the sage butternut squash ravioli yes. with pine nuts. Yep, with pine good. nuts um, and uh, yeah, all the toasted pine nuts and pumpkin seeds. Um, really tasty and a great way to kind of enjoy the season. She's making me super hungry, you guys. Okay, so that was Cultivate Kitchen, and I go to yes. Draper all the time, I've there never been go. there. Yep, it's Circle It. Circle, it's okay, a great one. Cultivate Kitchen. Okay, next we're going Italian. I mean, I was obviously drawn to that ravioli, yes. but um, Italian again for sage. And this is a really, Italian is a great way to incorporate sage. So you're going to find this in a lot of sauces, you're going to find it in the seasonings. And so Sicilia Mia is where we're heading, and this is in Salt Lake, so their entire menu is Amazing, so experiential as well if you're gonna try some of their other table side dishes. But on the on the ravioli side, this is one to absolutely do and lead with. We love the ravioli that we just tried and this one is um, a sage butter cream sauce that really incorporates the essentials there. While you're there, also grab the bruschetta. That's another um, fun one. And the toppings oh. can rotate seasonally with that as well. Um, so that's the ravioli that we're looking, looking at. They'll pair it with a nice green salad as well. Um, and this is a, a heartier, bigger portion than what we just saw um, at Craft Kitchen. This is meant to be an entree. Okay, which yes. Is, which I'm is now remembering, Cecilia Mia, I stopped in there because you might not because it's in like a strip It's mall. really unassuming. Yes. You look at the outside, you're like, mm. 
and then and they and can you go walk in inside and it's like fine so dining. authentic. Yes. I did, of course, the traditional one where they cook it in the yep. wheel of cheese. And they import their ingredients from Sicily. Like there's a there's a lot of fun backstory there too. If you sit and chat with their their owners and their staff that are really passionate about the craft and the food that they put out on the table. So that yes. that's a fun thing too and for Sicilian sing. Mia. Sometimes they even sing. Yeah, there you go. Fantastic. So you heard it here. <laughs> Singing. Singing. Okay. Pasta. What about the the standby? Pumpkin. Yes, so pumpkin is one that, I mean, I always think of pumpkin desserts this mm -hmm. time of year, but I went to Block Restaurant, so this is in, in Provo, and another seasonal menu that rotates, and I got their pork loin um, that has pumpkin seed, like a pumpkin seed paste and butter, like an apple butter on there as well. Um, it is, I'm not, I would not normally, that's their bread ward, also great, we love Yum. carbs. Um, I would not normally order pork loin, so that's their pork loin. And this was so yummy. Mm -hmm. Everything, like the subtle undertones of pumpkin made it feel very seasonal and very, very timely. And then with the companion flavors of like that apple butter on top and some of the glazes and the butternut squash, like it was just the perfect combination of all of it and not too much pumpkin. I believe you, it looks like it. And last but not least, caramel. Yes, we are catering to my sweet tooth. Okay. So this is salted caramel. We are going to Momo's Gourmet Cheesecake and they have multiple locations around the state. Uh, Provo is closest to me, so this is where we headed. But they're, one of their permanent flavors, so this is one you don't have to necessarily rush to, is salted caramel, and you can get it in their mini, they have a mini cheesecake bite, yeah. so it's super small, which makes it really fun if you wanna try multiple, multiple flavors. Um, they also have seasonal flavors that rotate weekly. So they have a chai that's really yummy. They have a pumpkin chocolate chip that's really yummy. That's their salted car caramel that's a little hard to see with the, the caramel on top. But it is so yummy, and I just love how shareable, how fun it is, and it's a different dessert than what you would typically. You're not going to go and grab ice cream every night. You can rotate in the cheesecake, um, and they do have locations around the state that make it a little more accessible. Yeah, and I love that they throw in just the different flavors once yeah. in a while. You never know yep. what might be there. Okay, Chelsea, you always find the best things. Oh, Where can so people fun. find all these from you? Your girl needs food on Instagram. <laughs> Your girl needs food. Thank you, Chelsea. Thank you.